In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how you can manage the users that register on your website using registration magic. So we head over to registration magic and we head over then to global settings. Inside global settings, you'll see the user accounts link. This is where you can set the permissions for people that sign up for an account. So the first option you have is you can activate the user immediately they sign up and they have access straight away the second one is the user is deactivate and then manual approval applies so the user signs up you're then notified via email you can then go into the user manager and inside registration magic you'll see there is a link for user manager quite easily then select the user and activate the account manually and then we have the third option, which is the one where you have the website send them a verification email. So what happens is the user registers, they then get the verification email, they verify their email address, and they then have ac access to the account. What you can also do is activate this provisionally activate account option, and that means that they will have provisional access to the account until they click on the verification link. If they don't click on the verification link, the account is then no longer valid and they can no longer log in. So some of the settings that apply is how long that activation link is valid for. So let's say 48 hours. Um, there's an activation notice to let them know that the account is not active. There's also an invalid activation code message and also a link expiry notice. So if they've taken too long to respond, they will of course then not be able to use that link and they'd have to get a new link. And then we also have a login error message. So your account has not been activated yet. Once again, they would then fo follow the link to send the verification email, click on the verification link, and they would then have access to the account. What you can also do, and it's a setting that applies to all the accounts, is send the username and password to the user through email. So if you would like to send them their login details after creating their account, you can. For security reasons though, you might not want to do that. So that's entirely up to you. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.